Good morning. Our um, numbers are down because um, uh, everybody's sick. The uh, Chris's are sick. Um, my family is mostly sick, and uh, they're mostly here, but um, uh, Craig's gone. So um, if you have a flu, uh, if you, um, um, well, a cold, um, um, it's typical because everybody uh, is sick. And you know what day it is? Happy Reformation Day! Um, uh, I'll read it. Uh, the tooth here um, uh, is uh, sweeter than Hall uh, Halloween candy. Well, um, it's debatable. Uh, October 31st, 1517, Pastor and Professor Martin Luther uh, nailed a list of uh, 95 arguments on a uh, church door in Germany. Back then, that's how you started a discussion. Um, the uh, church was, the, um, in essence, the town hall. And um, if you wanted to talk about something that uh, was important, you nailed it to the church door, uh, and um, uh, it was published, um, and um, you would meet and discuss it later. Luther's arguments gained a wide acceptance and were said throughout Europe via the newly invented printing press. Central to his concern was that the Roman Catholic Church had deviated from the Bible's simple teaching that you and I can be right with God only by faith in uh, God's Son, Jesus Christ. So the Reformation was about the idea of uh, justification by faith alone. He nailed it, ha, ha, ha. And uh, what did he nail it? Uh, no, the door was fine. I'm just fixing your theology, ha, ha, ha. So, um, what was the uh, Awana Day? So um, you'll see more than one Perry. Um, you'll see Perry twin, and um, um, you'll see me because, well, um, in honor of uh, a certain motion picture, I uh, had a worm on. Ha ha ha! And um, um, we had another guest platypus, and uh, we had assorted um, uh, Bible characters. Um, we are, are continuing the Bible course. Um, if you um, um, want to join us uh, in uh, Sunday school, uh, we have uh, five more weeks of it. And um, I'll invite you to come because um, um, really I think it's the uh, excellent uh, presentation on the whole Bible. The Bible Course is an accessible way for anyone to explore the world's best seller. Because the Bible is a big book, it can be hard to know where to start. So the Bible Course gives the big picture, showing how all of the events, books and characters fit together to form one incredible story. Whether you are new to the Christian faith or just want to find out more, the Bible Course is for you. Filmed on location and in a purpose-built studio, the Bible course consists of eight interactive sessions through the whole Bible story, from the first book, Genesis, to the last book, Revelation. Each session combines video teaching, group discussion, personal reflection, and daily readings. Bring God's Word to life by running the Bible course in your setting. To start your journey, visit Bible Society dot org dot uk forward slash the bible course it's an excellent overview uh, it uh, has a um, uh, interactive book and um, i think it's excellent uh, something else we're doing is 
uh, doing uh, Christmas um, boxes. <laughs> The joy of seeing a child open the boxes for the first time is just, it's incredible. We are so excited. Many of the children receive the shoe boxes for the first time in their life. We pray that these boxes will be used to bring a lot of happiness and joy, but more importantly, the gospel to each heart, all these little children around the world. No greater need and no greater time than right now for us to go out and serve boldly. This is what these shoe boxes are all about, to go out and bring a hope of Jesus Christ around the world. I'm just so amazed at what God does each and every year. This is an opportunity to impact the lives of millions of children, just like you've seen. But we need more boxes for next year. Every box is an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you, and God bless each and every one. We have information how to pack a shoebox, um, who you want the shoebox to go to, and uh, we have a, um, a couple letters um, uh, for um, you to read. And um, we have a um, letter from Franklin Graham uh, posted on the uh, back bulletin board. So um, I uh, think it's a good thing to do. Uh, we're going to uh, do some. And uh, I encourage you to join us. We have a busy calendar, and um, it's all things this week. Um, hooray! Uh, we start with the Reformation Day, yes, and um, we uh, did the third lesson in the Bible course. Uh, there's five more. Um, Tuesday is Election Day. Um, uh, please vote. Uh, November 3rd is Crazy Hat, Crazy Hair Night in Awana. Um, November 4th is a women's Bible study uh, at 7 p.m. And um, uh, daylight savings time. Uh, it started in Europe. Um, I've been talking to Mike Bradley, and um, they have it uh, a week early. But um, that's to remind us that uh, daylings, uh, daylight savings time begins on next Sunday. And um, uh, we have lunch. So... Uh, Operation Christmas Child Boxes, um, I'd like to get all of them on the 21st of November because uh, they uh, have to be delivered to a um, clearinghouse on November 22nd. Uh, it's a short drive, but um, um, I might be able to drive by then. Hooray! But um, I've... Um, uh, our personal note, I've been technically approved to drive. I don't need to drive uh, anymore. Hooray! But um, I'm waiting for a doctor to agree with me. So uh, I've passed uh, the occupational therapy tests, and um, uh, I had um, uh, the last one uh, Paige took me this week, and I was told that... Um, uh, the occupational therapist that uh, is the system maker uh, has decided uh, to uh, recommend me for driving. So I'm just waiting for a doctor. And um, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, doing a drive through restaurant. Um, December is uh, when the uh, Korean church will begin meeting. Um, I appreciate uh, your gifts uh, to God uh, through uh, our church, and um, there's many ways uh, that you can give. But um, I don't see him, but it's Tom's bird's birthday this week. Um, Tom Bird is here? Oh, he's up there. He's hiding. <laughs> I found Brittany... Um, um, Barbara found M&M's for you. Hooray! So um, you can have the M&M's on the table. Um, and um, I'll uh, have more on Wednesday. So uh, let's sing happy birthday to Mr. Tom Bird Esquire. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Where's the woo? Happy birthday to you. Hooray! 
Uh, we won't ask for a speech because he's shy. But um, there's, um, um, if you look in the bulletin, there's many birthdays and special days uh, uh, coming. So, without further ado, um, I'd like to f invite um, uh, the members of the praise team to come up. Um, we have a, a minimal praise team this week because um, uh, most of our um, family is sick. So um, we'll uh, start singing with Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord, and Please Stand. If you can. Lord, teach me thy way, help me to walk aright, for thy faith lasts by sight, lead me with heavenly light, teach me thy way. When I am sad at heart, teach me thy way, when earthly joys depart, sing number 493 it is well with my soul
Quest next, so um, you um, uh, follow.
we can have a children's story. Um, I've told you um, of my uh, bad experiences um, with uh, arranging for children's story. The first thing I want to do is see if I can lift that up. Oops. Lift this up without knocking it over. It's tight. I need some help. It's tight. Hooray, and uh, who did my hand? Hooray, thank you for help. So, um, I bought this, um, it was um, uh, about $5, but um, um, it's not what it appears to be. If you look at the um, uh, instructions, you're supposed to take out the hammer um, and uh, strike it, and um, um, it'll stand, it's supposed to be able to stand upright on its own. And um, I struck it, but um, um, from the comments that were added, um, it's supposed um, to move like a viewer watching an animation. The magical Daruma jumped up to avoid the hammer. Even if it is knocked down and collapsed, it will magically reshape and rebuild. So, I'm trying. I'm trying. Hmm, it doesn't work. Because I saw a video uh, on the um, item that's since been removed. Um, you have to complain about uh, it a lot for Amazon to cause the um, people who list an item to take off the item uh, presentation and replace it with another. So um, they didn't tell me at first that, um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little hole in this uh, bottom um, block and you're supposed to put a wire in it and um, um, magically um, with a hook. Um, uh, do you see the hook? Uh, you're supposed to hide it in your ear. Hide it in your ear. Um, it'll be seen in your ear. But um, you're supposed to hide it in your ear and raise your head and um, let us um, mis um, form again. But that's not what the video presentation originally was. Um, they see that. Uh, Suzanne, it's junk. Uh, there's a video online that I saw that they've since removed. It um, makes it look like it's magnetic. It's not. Total junk. And uh, what uh, kind of stars does it uh, have for review? One, yeah. So... Um, you know what, um, I haven't felt uh, like um, using the wire, but um, maybe it works, but um, if you want to take it home, if you want to take it home and make it work, um, I'll uh, give you a few minutes of fame, um, and uh, next week you can uh, make it work. Um, so, um, but um, um, I have it for you for free. So, um, Proverbs 10, 9, one who walks in integrity walks securely, but one who perverts his ways, a.k.a. Um, does false advertising, will be found out. Well, um, the um, um, Amazon found out that uh, they needed to repost it because um, I didn't see a wire at all, and I too thought that was, uh, uh, it was magnetic, um, but um, I bought a pig in a poke. Anyway, 
Daniel will come up and uh, give me some wisdom uh, so I wouldn't uh, be um, uh, confused uh, again because uh, he's going to read from Ecclesiastes. Please rise. Join me in reading Ecclesiastes 11.9. Rejoice, young man, during your childhood, and let your heart be pleasant during the days of young manhood, and follow the impulses of your heart and the desires of your eyes. Yet know that God will bring you to judgment for all these things. You may be seated. Thank you. My sermon is Young at Heart. Young at Heart. Do you know what um, she's getting ready to do? Have plastic surgery. According to the uh, American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery, surgeons perform more than 10 million cosmetic procedures each year. Wow. Almost none of them, none of them medically necessary. Uh, journalist Beth Tittel worries that um, all that plastic surgery, uh, uh, not because it's unsafe or unwise, uh, but because it'll make her look older than women her own age. In a book called Drinking Problems and the Fountain of Youth, good title, uh, to tell comments that no one is safe from this fear, not even the rich. Uh, she te uh, says, I know women who worked hard to get into good colleges, worked for their connections to land enviable jobs, married well, produced children who could pose for Ralph Lauren ads, vacation on the right islands with the right beach towels and the right um, heiresses. They have... Um, fractional ownerships and Cessnas, for heaven's sake, that's a plane. Uh, and yet, if they have furrows and hints of upper lip lines and puppet mouth when those around them are smoother than freshly ironed linens, what's it all worth? In a word, nothing. The light is pleasant and is good for the eyes to see the sun. Solomon is calling us to live wisely. The first call is to rejoice in the goodness of life, even though we know life is futility. Um, I'm going to give you a word of advice. Um, I uh, prayed for it um, today, uh, this morning, and um, I've come to pray that um, my friends, um, people uh, in general, will have a little bit of fun every day. Um, it's important to have a little bit of fun every day, even if um, uh, it's only a Diet Coke, even only it's um, raspberry tea, even only if it's um, um, not choking on your medicine. You should have a little bit of fun every day. It's so important. The call is especially for old people, people who have lived many years. It is good to find the joy and pleasures of life that you can. Many things in life are also bright. What a joy it is, therefore, to live for many years not only because we have more time to serve the Lord in sowing and reaping, uh, see Ecclesiastes earlier in the chapter, but also because we have more opportunity to enjoy the goodness of life. The right way to respond is by rejoicing. Praise God for the goodness of life. Praise Him for everything sweet you taste and everything uh, bright you see. Um, um, we celebrated Brittany's uh, birthday recently, and um, uh, Barbara let me um, cheat and uh, have a snack. Uh, do you remember? 
What was it? A s'more. A s'more. And wow, I haven't had a s'more forever. But um, I can see why you eat them. Yum. Um, um, I rejoiced in the, the fact that it is um, uh, calculated uh, to be only 30 carbohydrates. I didn't eat a full size s'more, but uh, wow. The living God is the um, God of uh, light. Indeed, if a person lives many years, let him rejoice in them all, but let him also remember the days of darkness, for there may be, uh, uh, will be fill, um, many. Everything that is to come will be futility. Um, Horace said, Carpe diem, rejoice while you are alive. Uh, enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest. Make the most of what you have. It is later than you think. Yet even re um, when we rejoice, we need to remember that there is more to life than sweetness and light, which is something that Solomon never lets us forget. If we live for many years, he says, the days of darkness will be many, and we will taste what is bitter in life as well as uh, what is um, sweet. And um, I'll tell you, uh, foreshadowing, I have a closing illustration that uh, um, talks about um, a Starbucks restaurant in an unusual place, okay? Sooner or later, we will suffer loss, disappointment, injustice, and grief. Uh, oh, I uh, didn't read the verse. Indeed, if a person lives many years, let him rejoice in them all, but let him remember the days of darkness, for there will be many. Everything that is um, uh, to come will be futility. All, including the years when we are old and gray, is futility. At the beginning of Ecclesiastes, we are told that all is futility. If life has no unmitigated joys or undiminished pleasures, then why should our later years be any different? Some commentators think uh, Solomon is confused here. That is, he uh, is giving contradictory advice that his readers should both enjoy life, but also remember that he is going to die. This is not confusion, but clarity. Ecclesiastes gives us a realistic view of life that is joyful about its happy pleasures, while at the same time sober about its many sorrows. This book steadfastly refuses to show us anything less than the whole of life as it actually is. Rejoice, young man, during your childhood, and let your heart be pleasant during the days of young manhood, and follow the impulses of your heart and the desires of your eyes. Yet know that God will bring you to judgment for all these things. As I think about um, different years, um, you need to know the class of 2011. Not 2021, to, but 2011. Um, as expected, the list finds that this uh, falls freshman class, the freshman um, of college in um, uh, 2011, is unique in how they see the world, hear the world, speak in the world, and experience the world. Ron Neff, the uh, communicator, um, uh, the communications director for Beloit College, says faculty members, military officers, and ministers eagerly re um, wait for this list, hoping to find effective ways to communicate with younger generations. Here are some notable features 
that changed in 2011. One, Humvees minus the uh, artillery have always been available to the public. Um, if you're um, 18 years old in 2011, uh, you've always been uh, able to buy a Humvee. They've never had to roll down a car window. Yes? Uh, they've grown up with bottled water as the most common way to get water. Um, the World Wide Web has uh, been an online tool since they were born. Um, they were born the year Harvard Law Review editor Barack Obama announced that he might run for office someday. Russia has always uh, had a multi-party political system and they've never seen the Berlin Wall. They learned about JFK from Oliver Stone and Malcolm X from Spike Lee. Tiananmen Square as a um, 200, uh, 2008 Olympic view, not the scene of a massacre. They get much, uh, much more information from John uh, Stewart and Stephen Colbert than from the newspaper. I'm a newspaper guy. They will uh, encounter roughly equal numbers of female and male professors in their classroom. Rap music has always been mainstream. U2 has always been more than a spy plane. Ha ha ha. They were introduced to a Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Thanks to MySpace and Facebook. Do you remember MySpace? No. Um, a person's autobiography could happen in real time. Stadiums, rock tours, and sporting events have always had corporate names. And Fox has always been a major network. Wow. Happiness is not confined to one season of life. It should fill all your years, young or old. The call to rejoice is not uh, just for the elderly, but also for youngsters. While old people are to praise God for the length of their days, young people are to praise God for the strength of their youth. Young people enjoy many blessings. They have fewer of the cares that uh, come with having adult responsibilities. Their bodies are strong and getting stronger. Their hearts are full of good cheer and easy laughter. The future is full of possibilities. There is freedom to take risks and time to go a new direction in life. Young people still dare to dream that they can make a difference in the world. These are all reasons for the young to rejoice. And yet again, Solomon sounds a cautionary note. What he says about following one's heart might lead some people to think they can do it if, um, whatever they please, which frankly is the uh, way that many young people operate. They expect everyone to operate on their schedule. Living for the moment, they do not stop to think about the consequences of their actions. They buy an impulse. Rather than cleaning up after themselves, they tend to leave a mess behind. So, remove sorrow from your heart and keep pain away from your body because childhood and the prime of life are fleeting. I have learned many lessons and uh, that lesson is true to me because um, I sound like my father when I wake up from bed. Um, um, my um, father used to make uh, different characteristic sounds whenever he woke up and I make them and more. 
With these words, Solomon advises us to eliminate the bad things in life that troubles our body and our souls. Sorrow, the word sorrow, is any problem that causes us worry and concern that, um, quote, angers, grieves, or irritates us, unquote. It is the bitterness provoked by a hard and disappointing world. There is a little point in um, listing examples. With so much trouble in the world, it would be hard to know where to start or how to end. Yes? Yes. Furthermore, the sorrow is different for each one of us. What angers or irritates one person may not anger or irritate someone else. Yet, we can all agree that life is filled with sorrow. It is also full of physical pain. Whether for illness, accident, or disability, we all suffer bodily pains. Once again, Solomon is honest with the troubles of life, both physical and psychological. He has some uh, advice for us. We should do what we can to remove discouragement from our bodies and to minimize uh, damage um, uh, to our souls. This is not a call to deny the very real suffering that everyone experiences, nor is a call to escape pain by living for pleasure. Rather, it is a call to take care of your mental and physical health. Yes? It's obvious what um, some people need to do. Um, but we've uh, got many years of not listening to overcome. Um, those of us um, who have wives um, should listen to our wives, yes? Um, I don't hear much agreement. Uh, trust me, uh, you should listen to your wife. Um, if you don't have a wife, um, I hope you have a mother. And uh, your mother will tell you things uh, in passing uh, that she really means. And um, uh, something like, um, um, are you eating well? Do you eat too much? Do you um, get enough sleep? Um, are you uh, still stressed? Because um, you should pay attention to your mother's and your wife's gentle words. One of the reasons why Solomon tells us to remove pain and vexation is because he knows we cannot stay young forever. Did you know that? Yes, and um, um, I'm 61 now, and um, I've had uh, two strokes in the past year, and uh, trust me, I know I'm not young anymore. And um, I can tell it because I can't eat like I want to. This does not mean that youth is meaningless. Solomon has already told us to rejoice in our youth and to enjoy its many pleasures. But youth is futile. Um, the um, word um, uh, in the original, hebel, means futile vanity, in the sense that it is elusive. One day we are young and strong, but almost before we know it, those days are gone. They snuck up on me for sure. Thus, Solomon advises of human life. In fact, we might have a kind of optimism because the preacher song is helping us in that season of life. We should celebrate his blessings for us.
what hinders your pursuit of happiness? Is it self appointed excuses that keep us from daily joy? I'm going to tell you something. Most people, I've been told, make excuses for everything. You make excuses for um, overeating. You make excuses for um, being sloppy. You make excuses for um, not picking up after yourself. And um, um, millennials get um, too much blame for it. Um, I think we all make excuses for what we don't want to do. We decide. Or is it self-styled independence that keeps us from remembering our Creator? And that's next week's message. Um, I told you that um, I would have a story about uh, my closing illustration. Built in 1950, Robertson Downtown was the first Robertson, uh, Robertson funeral home to serve the upstate community. Um, it's a talking about South Carolina. This Robertson location is centrally located in downtown Easterly and 10 minutes uh, from. Um, I don't find my paper. Forgive me. Hooray, I uh, flipped too much paper. And uh, 10 minutes from the Robertson Memorial Gardens. The downtown location is famous, um, versatile, and well equipped to meet the needs of our families we serve. Um, if you haven't noticed, Robertson, uh, Robertson downtown is a funeral home. It's a funeral home, and our features include a covered porch, an expansive foyer, private arrangement offices, and showrooms featuring a variety of caskets and cremation options. We also offer state-of-the-art video equipment so that families can record funerals and play the video during a loved one's service. An on-site coffee shop. They even open the Starbucks. An on-site coffee shop is available for the guest's comfort and convenience. Um, it offered um, a coffee corner, as it was called. Um, it's stocked with Starbucks coffee and uh, offers Wi-Fi as well as uh, you can see the fireplace and television. The funeral home's owner says that he hopes it will get mourners to get their right minds off of what's going on. Uh, the news magazine called The Week welcomed people to submit a name for the cafe. Uh, they thought it was funny, and uh, um, but to be honest, I think it's uh, funny. Um, I would never go to a Starbucks in a funeral home. That's uh, I don't think they have a drive through uh, um, uh, They didn't say it, and um, it would be odd to have a hearse pulling up to a Starbucks. Um, but um, uh, there were names uh, submitted for this novel cafe. The honorable mention name um, included, one, the Grim Roaster. <laughs> you can take it with you. The last cup. Decoffinated. <laughs> Decoffinated. Uh, Purgatory. Wake up and smell the coffee. Being nice knowing you. And see a lay type. The top winners. Third place. Latte for your own funeral. Second place, 
Still above grounds cafe. I think that's the uh, favorite. And the first place award. Time to meet your mocha. <laughs> Puns after my own heart. Um, it's poking fun and um, uh, uh, and it's not the real name. Um, uh, it was uh, just a um, suggestion. But um, it's trying to have fun. And I can appreciate having fun because Solomon has told us that we should rejoice all the time. We should rejoice in our youth. We should rejoice. Um, they never said to rejoice in middle age. But um, we should rejoice in our older age as well. We always have time. The lesson is we always have time to praise God for the uh, comforts He gives. Whether you're um, um, stuck having a um, uh, gas station coffee or you can um, um, go to your local funeral home and have a Starbucks, um, you should rejoice in that you can. You're not dead yet. And since you're not dead yet, you could find a reason to be thankful and give praise. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, we, um, we'll have a closing song. Um, uh, please stand. We praise the old God, our Redeemer for you.